tested this mobile on different networks i have right now running 4g as you can see the volte sign here and if i tell you what other networks are available then we have a choice we can go to network and internet and then i can go directly to the mobile network and if i go to advanced in the advanced menu i can find preferred network type here i can go ahead and select 2g 3g 4g or 2g 3g 3g or 2g now if i select any of them everything works fine in my mobile i could not find any fault with using one or the other network however that is again specific to the network that you receive in your area but this mobile can really run the networks as you want because here you can see clearly that the 4g signal is coming complete there's a complete signal of 4g all the bars are full signal bars so there is no issue with that as far as calling is concerned i found no issues with this and i was able to make calls receive calls and the call quality is excellent go ahead and call Hi Navneet, can you hear me correctly? I am calling from the Asus Mobile. Yes, I can hear you correctly. So my voice is audible, right? Yes, your voice is audible. Okay, thank you. For... I called up my wife and she was able to hear my voice correctly. I actually did not find any fault with the calling aspect of the phone, so I really find this a very good device for calling. We'll. Actually, go ahead and connect this to USB charging cable or data transfer cable and see if we can transfer the files or not. I'll go ahead and connect the cable. So this is the cable. This Android system USB charging this device. So I'll tap for more options. Then I'll select transfer files. Once I select this, let's look at the laptop now. So as you can see at the bottom, it's showing Asus X O O T D connected. Now that option comes. I'll click here. Choose the option. I'll select choose. Now I can access the Asus X O O T D. That is the internal storage of the Asus phone that we are using. So I'll click here. Now I can go to the different folders and copy my files. So in my test of copying the files, I faced no issues. I have some files in the camera here. So if I just transfer some of them, I'll show you that quickly. I was able to do that. So I'll just copy them like this and go to the desktop. And as you can see, they were quickly copied all of them. So this mobile does support the OTG cable. I have a OTG cable here, and we'll test this. So I'll put it in the USB connector, and and I'll attach the pen drive. So the pen drive inside. So on the top, you can see that the USB symbol is showing here, and that USB symbol means that the pen drive is connected. We'll scroll down, and I can see Sandus USB pen drive is showing as connected. So we'll go here, and we can explore or eject. I'll say explore, and I'll go ahead and okay. This is showing as OTG. That's what I named the pen drive. Now I'll show you the correct way to disconnect it. Just go ahead here, go back again, go to the Sandus USB drive, and after going there, click here and say eject. Now it's saying that OTG is safely ejected, so we can go ahead and remove this. cable friends we have a printer here hp 3545 this is a wireless printer it supports wireless printing i would like to show you that the asus mobile we have here also supports wireless printing i have already downloaded an app called hp smart you can also find this app on the google play store once i have opened the app it is showing my printer details as you can see that the printer symbol is showing a tick mark which means that it is connected now if i go to the settings in connected devices it is showing that the print service is on and my printer is connected on my printer also you can see a blue led light which shows that the printer is connected through wifi i have already opened a document of two pages to be printed once i click on the triple dot on the right corner i will click now on the print option that is visible now it is giving me an option to Select a printer. Here I will select HP Deskjet, which is my printer. Also, I will click on the down arrow here and select the two-sided option. Now I will click on the print icon to print the document. Now let's see if this document prints or not. 
as you can see something is visible here which says that now printing as you can see on the document school's name is written on an english worksheet let us keep the mobile aside and wait for a while while the document prints document has been printed now and clearly shows that this is the same document that we are printing so this shows that the mobile printing is very much possible on the asus phone friends let's talk about wi-fi i found the wi-fi setup very easy as soon as i selected my wi-fi network and gave my password it immediately connected one thing i would like to mention is that there is no support for 5 gigahertz wi-fi band which means 802.11 ac which is the latest wi-fi standard is not supported on this mobile however you need not worry friends as most probably you will not be using a dual band wi-fi router because around 95 percent of wi-fi routers being used in india are still not dual band there's a very good thing that i found in the wi-fi which is actually a feature of the stock android that when you are not getting a signal from your isp then you will get a cross on the wi-fi symbol as you can see it is showing the cross right now whenever your isp network or internet is not working it will also show a cross on wi-fi symbol however it also means your router is still working fine friends i'm using a mi band 2 here and i'm happy to report that the mi band 2 works perfectly with asus zenfone max pro m1 i can assure you that all the notifications and everything at least 90% of the times I do get all the notifications. I am mentioning this because the Mi Band 2 is not compatible with all devices. I had some issues with other mobiles. But this phone fortunately because of stock Android and because of their own features is able to work with the Mi Band perfectly. There is no issue as such. So friends this is the Mi Fit app and I will show you that it works fine. I opened it and it will start syncing with the Mi Band 2. I can happily report that the Mi Fit application and the notifications work accurately. 